Hello everyone. This channel provides the latest information on the Three Gorges Dam. If you are interested, please subscribe to our channel. The whole world cares about this dam and balloons. At 8 a.m. local time on May 26, the water level of the Three Gorges Dam was 152.51 meters. Compared to the water level on May 23, there is almost no change. Looking at this dam from the reservoir side, the water level is around here. At 8 a.m., the discharge of the Three Gorges Dam is 7,010 cubic meters per second. The maximum discharge of hydroelectric power from this dam is about 30,000 cubic meters per second, so it is estimated that the power generation situation is about 23%. About seven turbines for power generation are in operation. Recently, they have been releasing more power than usual, which is a big change in the operation of this dam. Well, can you imagine the amount of water close to 7,000 cubic meters per second? This is the Takayama Dam in Kyoto, Japan. In April of this year, I took a picture of the flash release for inspection. The discharge volume at this time is 150 cubic meters per second. The discharge of the current Three Gorges Dam will be about 50 times this amount. As usual, let's take a look at the change in the water level of this dam together. Here is a graph that combines the data up to last year and this year's results. Although the water level has been declining since the beginning of this month, it has recently stagnated. They have a goal of operating the dam to lower the water level to 145 meters around June 10th each year. This year they will definitely achieve it. Nishi Yang Channel Well, at the upstream dam, the big release has begun. Last year, as a national project for the 100th anniversary of the Communist Party of China, it was the Baihetan Dam that made so much noise in the official media. Even after that, I regularly check articles on the internet, but the dam has not been reported at all recently. I wondered if the dam was working properly, so I checked the satellite imagery. The photo shows the discharge from the power plant. This is a satellite image of Sentinel on May 24. The difference is clear when you compare it with the photo from a week ago. Look at the top of the screen. This is the part where the water used for power generation is discharged, and there are eight discharge channels on each of the left and right banks. This dam has a total of 16 turbines of 1 million kilowatts each. At the end of last year, it was reported that the power generation facilities were all completed. As a single dam, Baihetan Dam's power generation capacity will rank second in the world after the Three Gorges Dam. About half a year has passed since the dam was completed. Originally, since the power generation discharge is released under the water surface, it is difficult to capture it with satellite photos. Now we can see it clearly. It will be the first rainy season after declaring the official operation. Is this an annual dam operation, or is it an irregular event? Unknown at this time. Then I started wondering how the other three dams were doing. For the huge quadruple dam, if you look at this figure, it may be easier to understand the height and positional relationship. From upstream, Udongdedam, Baihetandam, Siriyodam, and Shanjavadam. These four dams form a cascade and work together. When I checked the satellite photos on the 24th, I found that even the Udonde Dam, which is the uppermost stream, is increasing the amount of water released. Here too, Comparing the photos from three days ago, it is assumed that the operation increased the amount of discharge. As for the remaining two dams, we were unable to see the latest information on satellite images due to cloud cover. In any case, before the rainy season, there was movement. The dam has important roles. Flood control, power generation and navigation of ships. On the other hand, it is also true that there are many problems such as sand accumulation, environmental destruction, climate change, cracks, and garbage problems. They choose the best water level in terms of hydropower, ship operation, and irrigation water, and insist that it is always safe. Is it true? The annual monthly precipitation around the Three Gorges Dam is as follows. It's the end of May, and there are about two weeks left until the flood season. Originally, the amount of rain is expected to increase from now on, but what about this year? 
As far as this channel investigated, the area covered by the Three Gorges Dam seems to be around the red frame. Let's take a look at Windy's predictions for the week ahead. On Saturday and Sunday, rain clouds will spread over a wide area of the Yangtze River Basin, and heavy rain is likely in some places. If the inflow at the Three Gorges Dam increases, the authorities will likely increase the outflow even more, so I don't think there will be any impact on dam operations. And most of all, it's the typhoon coming from the bottom right of the screen. It is expected to go straight to mainland China. Interception missiles are deployed around the dam. This is completely rumor level, so there is no confirmation, but there seems to be talk of preparing for an attack from the sky. After all, it's a big target and defenseless. It cannot be hidden. A story about a ground-based interceptor missile being installed. Since the dam is located in the inland area, it will be launched from overseas, which means that it will be launched from a distance of 1,500 kilometers or more. It may be a missile from the south or it may be from the west. It may be from the north. From the point of view of national defense, it wouldn't be strange if it was normally deployed. However, it may be difficult to prevent it when it is done with a stealth aircraft of a certain great power. This is a video that summarizes the information about the Three Gorges Dam. This is a popular video that has been played over 150,000 times, so please enjoy it. The URL is listed in the summary column. It is the dry season with little rain. In 2020, heavy rains and floods continued, and there was concern that the dam might collapse. Conversely, there was a drought last year, and the water shortage continues this year as well. To my surprise, the Chinese meteorological authorities have already announced the possibility of another water shortage this year. Please continue to subscribe to our channel for the latest information. Thank you.